you guys know there's this new flu virus going around, which I don't know, I think it might be the end of the world virus, because I'm telling you, I definitely got it. And my mother has it. And I know my aunt got it. I'm, I'm really, I'm sick for real, but you know, I got sick of cells, so I'm used to being sick, but right now I'm nausea. I threw up a few weeks. I threw up like two days ago and I was babysitting my little cousin Braylon. So you can watch that video. Not of actually me throwing up, but you can click the annotation and watch that video. Ugh. It's just it's just spreading. Today's video commentary is about the end of the world. There are three ways the world could end. It could end with a dangerous virus. It could end from well actually four. It could end from zombies. It could end from monkeys. It could end from robots. Let's take out the zombies because I don't have a video. I don't have any information about zombies. So I feel like one because I'm sick. But if you have, there's a movie called Contagion. It was a really good movie. But I think the world could end from a virus. Y'all could end from monkeys. Like, you know, Planet of the Apes, Rise of Planet. Planet of the Apes is real. Planet of the Apes is real. And robots are going to take over the world like they did in iRobot and Terminator. And watch out. When I watch iRobot for the first time, it scared the hell out of me. So, I'm going to let you pick. Question of the day is how the world is going to end. So, the world could end from super strong monkeys or super intelligent disease robots. One of the two. So, I'm going to show you the clip of this monkey. This monkey is doing sit-ups and push-ups like a human. I'm going to come back with my commentary about it in a minute after you watch it. Okay, you watch that. That shit was freaky as hell. Did we not learn anything from Planet of the Apes? What are we doing teaching monkeys to pump iron? Monkeys should not be that strong. What I even seen, and I'm, you know, I'm terrified of cats. And I even seen a cat stand up on a bed. I didn't go look for the video, but animals are not supposed to be doing human things. People, there are some people in the world who even have sex with animals. You're nasty as hell. You gotta stop teaching animals to do human things, especially monkeys. Did we learn anything from Planet of the Apes? Stop doing this crap. You're gonna bring the world to an end because of super intelligent, strong monkeys. And if not the monkeys, the robots are gonna rise up and take over the world because robots are so lifelike that they are officially vomiting. That's right, vomiting. Robot, a vomiting robot. That's way too human. Now let me show you that clip, then I'm going to talk about it. Humans aren't the only ones getting sick this season. British researchers have created a projectile vomiting robot that mimics the symptoms of neurovirus, the violent illness that afflicts 21 million Americans every year. Severe vomiting and diarrhea associated with the virus send 70,000 people to the hospital every year, and the average infected person spreads the illness to seven other people. Researchers created the projectile robot to test how far the dangerous contagion spreads every time someone throws up. Dubbed Vomiting Larry, the robot is filled with fluorescent liquid and water that it spews through a makeshift mouth with a pump. With UV lighting, researchers determined that Larry sent particles flying up to 10 feet forward. The findings may help design better solutions to combat the spread of neurovirus. The hardy germ resists most cleaning products and infects those exposed much more easily than the flu. Bam! You watched it! What the hell I need a vomiting robot for? That robot shouldn't be vomiting. But I guess it's not that bad because there's a lot of other stuff that robots could be doing a lot freakier. 
But don't you watch anything from iRobot and Terminator? Robots are going to become too smart. And I, I even think I heard of a, another vomiting robot a long time ago, but I don't have proof of it. Robots are becoming too smart. Of course, them vomiting may actually work for the human race. When, the, when, we, when it comes time to rise up to fight the robots, the humans may stand a chance because the robots may malfunction with a vomiting virus. So that's one advantage we have. But I'm just saying, this is too lifelike. The monkey doing setups like humans, the robot vomiting, end of the world. Monkeys, robots are deadly dangerous diseases. We got this brand new flu virus that's going to come around and kill everybody. Because I got it. And then, you know, also, Conan got it. This flu virus. Now I'm going to show you that. Conan talking about this brand new flu virus. And that's actually why they built the monkey... I mean, I'm sorry. That's actually why they built the robot who vomits. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that. And he's joking about it. I didn't, couldn't find anything serious about it. But like I said, I'm sick. I didn't feel like doing any research that much. So I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you him talking about it. Then I'm going to come back. Hey, what's going on? We interrupt this regular scheduled broadcast to bring you this public service announcement. I originally had a clip right here of the, what it's called, the Cole, the Cole Heron report, the Cole Bryan report, whatever, whatever the guy name, excuse my ignorance, I can't pronounce his name, but here's his picture. Alright, that's his picture, that's the name of the show. I had a clip right there, but it wasn't able to play YouTube copyright law, so I removed the clip, and now I'm going to get done with this, interrupt this intermission clip to tell you what was going on, and then it's going to go back into the original video, so just pretend that the clip was right here, but the link is in the description, the annotation is over my head. If you want to know what clip I was supposed to put right here in this spot, right here where I'm talking at, just go to the description and watch it and then come back and watch the rest of the video. Or, you know, yeah, do that. But, let's go back to the regular scheduled broadcast as it was supposed to be seen by your eyes, the viewer. I love you all. Thank you fans for understanding. Play imagination. Full life. God bless. Go in peace. Alright. I hope you enjoyed the videos. I hope you learned something. If you didn't, then, you know, I don't know what to say. You probably dead on the inside anyway. Truth be told, if the world ended today or tomorrow or yesterday, I wouldn't care. It's not that much going on in my life worth breaking up for. Actually, I don't mean that, but I'm not afraid of the end of the world or dying. I'm trying to get when I get to the next level of my life and I have a wife, child, a, a, a career, something I can be proud of. But I'm not afraid of the end of the world. But question of the day, nobody wants it to happen, but it's gonna happen. I'm not afraid of dying. And especially not now, because I'm not doing that much with my life. But question of the day, how is the world gonna end? Super strong intelligent monkeys, a brand new flu virus, or robots? How is the world gonna end? Planet of the Apes, iRobot, or Contagion. Super strong monkey, robots, or a deadly flu. How's the world going to end? That's it. God bless. Go in peace. Plan imagination. When the world ends, I'm going straight to plan imagination for real because God ain't going to take me alive. That's it. God bless. Go in peace.